morning I'm going to walk you through how to create loops and also how to create movement uh, in the up and down position. Yesterday we talked about right to left, which is the X value. Today we're going to talk about the Y value, which is from top to bottom. Uh, here are our directions. I want us to open the code that's right here. It says 4.2 loops and movement. I'm going to move that over to my other window here for you guys so that we can see both. All right, and that shows me what it's doing. The ghost is running across. I want to edit this code. And when I look at this, I go, oh my gosh, somebody spent a lot of time writing the change sprite X code. That's unnecessary. We don't need to repeat writing each piece of code 30 times. We can use a repeat command. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this out and we're going to go into loops and we're going to grab the repeat command. Now we only need the change sprites X by five and the pause once. Now it only says repeat four times, which as you can see, the ghost doesn't get to the other end of the screen. So I'm going to change that. I pre-counted for you. It's actually 30. So he's going to go across the screen and then he will stop. I'm going to throw out the rest of this. I don't need this. And then I have finished my first set of directions. Rewrite the code using a repeat command. Do not change the X value or the 100 milliseconds value. I didn't. I left that the same because I want it to move in the same way it was moving before. I just wanted to do it more efficiently, so I used the repeat. Now we're going to move into the second set of directions. We're going to make a second sprite. We're going to make it stay in the screen and then we're going to make it drop from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. So we're going to be changing the Y value this time. All right, let's give it a go. So I'm going to add my sprite. I'm going to put it up here. Um, I want it right under my other sprite because I want the two sprites to show up at the same time on the screen. I could play around with where I position the second sprite in my code and that will change when that sprite appears on the screen. Okay, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to grab the skull. Stick with the same theme. I'd like to rename them. It's going to be called skull. Okay. And he can also be type player. That's fine. Okay, there he is in the middle of the screen. I would like to change his position. So again, I like to work efficiently. So rather than go find my set sprite position, I'm actually just going to duplicate this one. Duplicate. And I'll put it underneath. Except I need to change it because I want to position the skull, not the ghost. He's already positioned. So skull. And then I need to change its position because I want it to start at the top of the screen and fall down to the bottom. So I am going to change the value. We'll put him right there. All right, so I have created my second sprite. I've positioned him. You can see he's up at the top there. Uh, I need to make him stay in the screen. All right, well, that's in the sprites. Set my sprite to stay in screen. Uh, so why didn't I have to set the stay in screen for the ghost? Well, the reason I didn't have to do that is because I set my repeat so that he actually stops. He doesn't have any more commands uh, after repeating 30 times and that keeps him in the screen already. All right, so I've set him to stay in screen. Now it says make the sprite drop from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen. All right, now again, I like to work efficiently. So I can duplicate the repeat. I'm going to put it under here, except I want to change the Y value. And now he should drop. Why is he not dropping? Oh, I didn't change the value of the name. See how important it is to have the names of your variables? 
All right, let's change that to skull and maybe it'll work correctly this time. All right, let's give it a go. Now you may be wondering why didn't it drop at the same exact time as the ghost moved from left to right? Well, code goes in order. So the moving the ghost to the right piece of code is going to run and then the next piece will run. If I want them to go at the same time, I have to put it into the same repeat. So now they go at the same exact time. But I'm gonna tell you, I don't even wanna do it that way. I'm gonna use another way that I can make something move. So instead of all these commands, I'm gonna go into my sprites and I'm gonna change its velocity. So set my sprites velocity. And again, I want the skull. Now I don't want his VX, because remember X goes left to right. So I'm gonna turn that into zero, but I'm gonna leave the VY as 50. That means I'm changing the value of the Y position. And let's see what happens. There we go. And if you'll notice, when the skull is falling, it doesn't look like he's stopping and starting, stopping and starting, stopping and starting. That's the difference between the two types of movement that we've made. The repeat, I have a move five, stop, move five, stop. So that's what's going on in the repeat. That's why the ghost looks like he's stopping and starting, stopping and starting, stopping and starting. When I use the velocity command, there's no stopping in there. I'm not pausing anywhere. So he just goes nice and um, consistently from top to bottom. And because I made him stay in the screen, he stops at the bottom for me. All right, so now I'm gonna save my program. I'm going to share it and publish it. The name's already there for me. I'm gonna copy my link. I'm gonna make sure I put it in my portfolio and I'm actually gonna call it what it is. It's 4.2 loops and movement. I'm going to paste my link and then I'm going to take that same link right there and I'm going to go into Google Classroom and I am going to turn that link in for the assignment as well. All right, I hope this helps you complete your assignment. Good luck.